want righteousness in the kingdom, then to hell with this place. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rawacha, Kodash. Double honor to my elders at Great Millstone, taught me this truth through the Spirit. Sing honors to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the censored men and women and children that do consist of the one third. And to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom, shalom, shalom. The elect do not want to see this place continue to go on any further. All right. The Lord said he shortened the days for the elect's sake. The Lord even told us to pray unto fewer days. Therefore, this place is rapidly decreasing. It's decrepit. It's immoral. It does not uphold the truth of God, which is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. There's no love, brotherly love. Everything is fake. But when you speak the truth, they consider that to be fake because they say that which is evil is good and that which is good is evil. And so forth and so forth. And looking at their kingdom or queendom, so to say, it's falling. It's falling. They can't get up. The beta males, they love it here. The masculine women, they love it here as well. The wicked love it here. But they don't have to uphold the laws of the Bible, but this place will destroy you with a sword destruction. And this is not talking about those Israelites out there that speak with a Christian twist. You know, G-O-C-C, I-U-I-C. And even ISUPK be going off telling you to still trust in the devil despite the fact they know he's the devil. I'm talking about Esau. But don't get it twisted. There could be some elect in those other camps. But nonetheless, though, the elect will not want to stay here. Will not want to be here. Right? Hearken unto this. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. That ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Who is to her? The mystery whore Babylon. Who's the virgin daughter of Babylon? Edom. Psalms 137 and 7 on down. Edom is found in modern Jewry. The Jewish Encyclopedia, edition 5, page 41. So who today in modern times say that they're the Jews? Well, Edomites. So anyhow, verse 5, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God have remembered her iniquities. The Lord remember what happened in the translated slave trade. Y'all talking about Russia and China and India and all this and that. Yeah, we root for them because they're actually doing the Lord's work. The, the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. So the Lord control and dictate what the rulers are going to do. Even the staunchest, even the most, <laughs> the base, when I say base, I don't mean in a good way. The bases of people understand that thermonuclear warfare, there's no winners. There's no winners. It will destroy any and almost everything. But the angels are going to control that, and that's what's going to destroy this place. America, because it was built off of what? Rape, robbery, and murder. But see, this is their kingdom. Our kingdom is going to be of righteousness in a good stead. Right? See, the riches of this world is crumbling because it was ill gotten means. So, Jake wanted to build inside of an ill gotten kingdom where you're going to get an ill gotten result. We don't lay our treasures here on earth, we lay our treasures in the heavens. Because, as thou, hold on, how should I say that? He said, Um, thy will in heaven shall be done on earth. The Lord's going to bring his kingdom here on earth. For us to rule with them. Right? So the riches of this world are nothing compared to the riches that we're going to get. Hell, the best, the rich, the most valuable thing. Well, there's so many aspects. Faith truly is the most valuable thing on this planet because it's a gift given from the Heavenly Father. But wisdom, wisdom, that right there is the principle of all things, right? Because wisdom is the application of knowledge. So if you know better, do better. If not, oh well. So this is James 2 and 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren. Hath not God, Yahweh, chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, 
and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him that love him so the so the heirs of the kingdom are those who love him what is love the commandments keep the commandments what did Yahweh Shai say if you love me keep my commandments if you love me feed my sheep those will be the joint heirs with Yahweh Shai going back to Romans the 8th chapter the 16th verse spirit heavy now the elect, the meek, who shall inherit the earth. We humble ourselves. We humble ourselves in the face of the Lord, but we are pompous. We are boastful. We are prideful in the spirit. Why? Because we are confident in the spirit. Because we know it's not of us. Notice when I say the spirit is not of myself. Because without, like I said, the last, my last one. As the body without the spirit is dead, so is faith without works. So love is an action, right? So those rich in faith shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. And all those wonderful things, yeah? Hearken, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Treasure. Esau's treasure is their God guns, wills, oil, <laughs> and drugs, right? And, and slaves, the S at the end, God's people. See, that's their stability, controlling all of that, and the people. But see, their stability is crumbling before them, their dollar, the empire, the military. Their allies, they're losing them, right? So their money is falling, their military is falling. I just uploaded, a, I just uploaded a um, post. Forgive me for starting a little bit. Chewing on gum when I'm talking. That's rude. I uploaded a post that said America had to scrap their hypersonic missile because it just kept having issues, failure, right? As they're being destabilized, we're stabilizing ourselves for the future kingdom which is our kingdom right our treasure is the fear of the lord people fearing oh what's happening with the dow oh i can't take this money out my bank account oh you freezing my account people oh the crypto that that's that's what they have they, their fears in their money our fear is in what yahweh bashim ashai could do to us because he ruleth in the kingdom of men the lord is allowing this to happen yeah so if you want the finer things in life, let wisdom be your principal thing. Because by wisdom, the earth and heavens were created. The Lord heard his voice and by wisdom he created. That's why I speak as a man. I always consider wisdom to be the most high as a woman. His wife. I, just, I speak as a man. I can't find the scripture. I'm just saying I speak as a man. But what the King Solomon said, he chose, he chose her to be his wife. He married, he, he betrothed himself unto wisdom. Because she's a beautiful woman. <laughs> Anyhow, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 21 through 22. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, us, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. See, the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Hashem Shah will allow us to rule forevermore. That's something that Esau didn't uphold. Oh, you came with our literature. You came with our heritage. You even tried to join yourself into it. And you fell miserably. Like a hypersonic missile. Miserably. So, yeah, we delight in the final things in life. Yeah, we want the riches, but the Lord looking for the rich in faith at, at this moment. Right? Because we shall be added. Well, let me say this. It shall be added onto us the thrones and the scepters and the crowns and the diadems. And for our lovely daughters and women, tiaras, I would like to say. Right? I want my, ooh, put a nice, beautiful tiara on, on my wife's head and on my daughter's head. That'd be lovely. Yes, yes, yes. After Yahweh shall put one a crown on my head, Yahweh Yahweh shall write his eye, and like minded men. Yeah. Continuing, verse 22. As for wisdom, what she is and how she came up, I will tell you, and will not hide mysteries from you. 
but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity and bring the knowledge of her into light and will not pass over the truth. Right. Wisdom will not pass over the truth. Right. So if you want scepters and if you want the wonderful things in life, seek wisdom first, which we shall have. So the hell with this place. It's a disgrace. That being said, pray was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. For Masha'Allah. Shalom.